What a great time to be alive. What a great time to be alive. What a great time to be breathing. <laughs> what a great time to be breathing fresh air. Dumelan Tobela Lekai San Bonani Castonga Ganavaring about the Medisa. Minjani. I don't know how to greet in Sitonga. But then greetings to all of you. Wow. Let me drink some water. Let me drink some water. Spirituality. Spirituality in the African sense. What is spirituality in the African sense? spirituality you know spirituality is it it's something that i i'll say something but then it's not something but then the way spirituality has been understood in a way going back uh, in terms of those who are in the religions um who were in the religions and who are in the religions and those who are still going to be in their religions unfortunately the way they understand spirituality they and they understand it as in like it's i don't know how to explain it they understand it as in like it's an external force in a way uh it's a it's an it's something that is external to them in a way uh which is not spirituality is simple it's something that people never understood. Um, it's something that people never got to understood, to understand. Hey, it's long some it's not that good. Pardon me. Um, as a disclaimer, I'll just put it right there. From the beginning, my English is not pure. <laughs> because it's a spell. It's a, it's, a, it's a language of spells. I don't cast spells purely um, and clearly. <laughs> Although I speak it, yeah. So, spirituality, the way it's understood, in terms of people who are in the religions and those who are not in the religions, some of them who were, but then don't have knowledge to understand this, uh, what is spirituality, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it in the simplest way, the way it is, because it's simple, in a way. Spiritual, when you talk about spirituality, uh, coming to our languages, African languages, I'll speak in Spedi and Isizulu. Kasipedi rereke moya. Spirituality moya. And spiritual, Isizulu is umoya. Spirituality umoya. Umoya, like, that's spirituality. The, uh, when you try to translate it to English, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get confusions because when you say umoya nisizulu or moya kasipedi and translate it to English, you'll say air, <laughs> which doesn't make sense. But then spirituality, yeah, it's air. Actually, it's air. But then not just the air, but then air, yeah. It's air in a, in a, in a broad way to make it make sense. It's air, but then in a, in a deep, broad way in a way but then it's simple it's it's a simple thing spirituality umoya moya umoya it's something that people never got to understand unfortunately but then hopefully this video will be of enlightenment to you because i'm trying to enlighten people here to get back to their own knowledge knowledge systems and a way of living in a way so in simple terms the way i explained it more is spirituality more i'll keep on repeating the same thing more yeah guys more yeah. like the way it is more yeah, the way it's understood in the african sense 
based on the knowledge of our ancestors that they left for us. But then we were too ignorant to see that, uh, to see and hear, to get in a way to hear that, that knowledge in the past. But then now it's time for this. It's time for those who who were not listening in a way all along to open their minds into open their minds in a way open their minds out of the box because the minds have been opened but then inside a box <laughs> so let's open our minds out of the box because spirituality it's, it's it's a way of living it's a way of life it's life it's nature spirituality it's part of nature 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 <laughs> So guys, in terms of spirituality, I'd like to highlight the most important things about spirituality the way it is. Because without spirituality, there's no life. People are living in spirituality, but they don't realize consciously. They don't consciously realize that they are living in spirituality because of lack of understanding, lack of understanding. But then those who live with understanding of spirituality, it's those ones who are enlightened. I don't want to mention names of people who, who, uh, yeah, people who call themselves with other names, um, the enlightened ones. But then I don't want to call those names. I want to explain this in a most simplest way so that it can enlighten people and also make you guys engage in a way because this we we really need to talk about this kind of things this kind of topics as people because there's a lot of confusion confusion out there which we should rectify and help people to go on a on a right path of expanding their their lives their lives in a way spirituality umoya guys umoya we we cannot live without the air we cannot function without the air so as a person you need air to breathe to live to be alive in this body in the in the in these bodies that we are in and uh, the temples that we are in it's temples it's temples so the god that is in you is in a temple which is your body so you need to take care of that body that because that body that temple needs umoya moya that's spirituality moya air <laughs> the spirit needs air in a way to to express itself in that body that you are in as a spirit in a way so one thing I have noticed all along when growing in this planet of hearts, planet Earth, you can you can take that last H to the first beginning of the word Earth. The H, take it to the first, um, the, uh, make it as a first word, you'll, you'll see it's heart. So this planet of hearts, it's a planet whereby people should, re like it's a planet whereby people should realize their ultimate power because we've been brainwashed in a way we've been led astray we have been led astray in in terms of how we perceive life a lot of stuff it's nonsense that we are busy feeding ourselves with because it's leading us into other ways that are not proper in a way to perceive life the way it is to see life the way it is we have to deal with our own spirituality as i said spirituality and air it's all in the same thing your spirit as it's in that temple you need air to keep going to be in motion i always ask nowadays um it's a it's a it's a it's a, actually it's an it's an age of information so i'm asking and i always ask are you in for motion as a human being because you gotta be in for motion because it's a we are in a cycle of the planet of nature whereby like everything's gotta be in motion and conscious motion you have to realize your inner power your ultimate power so spirituality <laughs> i'll keep on repeating the word spirituality <laughs> but then what i'd like to highlight mostly uh which people are not realizing your body as you get sick it's because you lack air more yeah Umzimba wako, Autoli Umoya, Aupefumligashi. 
a o ke heme ga botse ge o lwala e melo ga go o bajwa gore o lwala wa ikwishisha ne a ezwisisa ten bantu ba giti bathu ba reshu ga o lwala ma o kula when you're sick it's because you're not getting sufficient air into your body system your temple hence we have what we call breathing exercises which you need to do daily and on and on and on and on and on and on ask yourself when you see or when someone is sick when they go to a hospital what do they do because first first thing they do it's either a hospital or a clinic if the person is conscious like and yeah actually an old person who is conscious to breathe in a way when they say breathe you breathe like take a deep deep breathing you do that why do they do that why do they ask you to do that in the hospitals <laughs> I know most of them ca- can't even explain that they take it as in like it's a procedure nje where those ones who are in the hospitals but then these guys it calms your nerves when they say take a deep breath in breathe out like when you do that you calm your nerves because your body your temple is run by the nervous system nervous system the nerves you calm your nerves you got to deal with your nervous system in order to master your temple so that you don't get any any sickness that's the first step breathing the second one is eating the proper food be conscious of food that you eat daily because the food that you eat daily is the food that makes you healthy or sick in order for you to realize that you are healthy you got to know how how your body reacts in a way like but then be mindful of your breathing guys your breathing breathing is your spirituality you live by spirit if you are sick it started in the spirit in the spiritual realm and then it got to the nerves your nervous system and it also affected your what your immune system guys <laughs> basically that's how it is you cannot get sick if you have mastered your breathing your body breathe breathe the air what you need to do daily is to go outside where like there's no pollution like especially it's 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 great especially in in the early hours of the day when everything is in neutral outside there yeah. when everything is neutral out there because in the early hours of the day there's no motion there's no too much motion even the planes that are flying over here yeah, spraying things they are not that too much so the air in the morning in 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 the in the in the, in the early hours in the grand rising the grand rising sun sunrise in the early hours of the day the air is still pure it, it, that's when you need to go out and get the most most fresh air fresh air of the day in a way and you can also get the fresh air any time of the day it depends on where you are it depends on places um because some other places it's less of these things that they spray in uh, in the skies in the atmosphere and it's less of pollutions as well like um uh what do you call it smell pol is it smell pollution <laughs> air pollution air pollution like the stinky things that we smell in the morning you can't smell that like in the morning everything is pashash it's pure it's clean that's where you you need to go and get the most freshest air of the day in a way um <laughs> you know the topic spirituality the way it's being led astray in a way to in order for people to understand it even even now you, when someone sees the word spirituality <laughs> there it's it's kind of like people people are scared of the word spirituality i know that i know that for sure people are scared of the word spirituality but then how can you be scared of your own 
true self what you are how can you be scared of what you are oh oh guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then all things will be well hopefully hopefully in time in time hopefully in time all things will be well but then highlighting it again breathing exercises guys you need to do breathing exercises there are breathing exercises that you can do daily every day every time even even when you feel like you see now i am fuming or someone just made you fuss in a way just made you angry frustrated take a deep breath like do that at least five times or nine times actually nine times do that nine times take nine deep breathe ins and breathe out nine times you you will feel yourself you're gonna be calm like nothing will will shake you in a way nothing will shake you and when you do this breathing exercises is the more you align yourself you align your chakras you align your body system you align your immune system in a way your nervous system you come in to align your immune system you align your chakras that will be the beginning of you being consciously aware of your ultimate powers your ultimate power like breathing guys breathing exercises it helps a lot with aligning your chakras and when your chakras are aligned that's where you get the most enlightenment like your life just changes your life just becomes blissful bliss like yo guys you you got to you got to do these things yourself don't wait to be told wuti um this when i do this uh life it becomes this no do it to experience it yourself don't just hear people saying do these things guys do these things you need to cleanse your temple in a way how do you cleanse it breathing exercises breathing exercises that's how you cleanse and align your time your temple so that it can serve the purpose it serves your life will change guys you will see the world as is not the way you are programmed to see it <laughs> but yeah you will see the world as is not the way you are programmed to see it that's the way it is that's the way it is breathing guys another thing meditation meditation when you do meditation you do your breathings when you do your breathing you deal with your spirit cuz like you make your spirit happy you make the god in you happy when you do these things breathing breathe out breathe in also do it slowly breathing in slowly with your your nostrils to expand your lungs and hold for 9 seconds and breathe out do it again like it should be an ongoing thing like that you do it's a meditation that's a a way of healing your body like you you make your atoms your body atoms very happy when you do it when you do it your body atoms become very happy extremely happy when you when you do the breathing exercises because you are aligning everything now like you are reclaiming your power in a way like when you do that like na majuz wako aya chabula le ba di mara go ba thapo e o rira se o like because ba di mu amathongo mangeloi re tla mangeloi ga botse ke a senya ga ke re mangeloi because ke le a dingwa but then amalozi wakho they become so happy when you do that because you make them you, you make them express themselves in you in a way that's when they cherish a lot when you do these things you align yourself align your body god is within god is not without 
is not out of you is within and mostly get <laughs> get most of the sunshine let the sun hit you meditate in the sun let let it hit you let it <laughs> let it hit you let the sun hit you guys you it's a way of expanding your your yourself in a way it's 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 a way of expanding yourself that spirituality guys we we have been led astray for the longest time but now it's time to talk a lot of people are going to be talking about these things it's not just me a lot of people like even your celebrities some of them they're going to come out and talk about these things and you're going to see after that they're going to there's going to be that so called thing called cancel culture going against them you should know that <laughs> those who are getting cancelled meaning they speak the truths babolela din need why do they get attacked or cancelled in a way it's because of they got a lot of influence in the in the in, in, in the society when they talk the society listens and opens their minds so the system those who are behind the system they whoever they are they don't want this kind of things to be happening although nowadays there are people who express things who talk politics and are not getting banned those ones are there to neutralize the the ongoing uh ascension that's happening the way people people now like the minds of the people are expanding with the nature it's nature it's it's nature it allows that the energies that are coming from this um that are coming into this earth are not from this earth mostly mm. they are not from this earth they are out of this earth because <laughs> But then hopefully guys this is this is very enlightening to you do that go practice that be practical go breathe go breathe do breathing exercises 